Oh well, let's wrap up with a few things to remember. So first of all, what I liked a lot about this uh, part was that we derived a propagation algorithm uh, via an approximation technique that itself was based in the definition of a stable model. With the idea more or less that initially we start with the empty set and the set of all atoms and tighten the approximations and then we have all the stable models in between the lower and the upper bound and then we do a case analysis and recursively apply the, the expand procedure as we call it to, to both cases. Anyway, the most important thing to, to, to realize actually is that the, the propagation method really knows about the semantics of the problem, right? Once you have this propagation method right, the search method around it is a general, is a general skeleton that can work for very different types, like in set there's a DPLL method, but also you can apply this to any type of constraint satisfaction problems. So the idea is you propagate as much as you can, then you check whether you got a conflict. If you got a conflict, you exit or you return and backtracking may happen. Then you check whether you got a solution. If you got a solution, great, you output it and you may actually return upon backtracking. But if not, then this means you have no conflict and you have no solution. And then there are variables that you have not managed to assign with your propagation method. And again, how this propagation method worked after all isn't, isn't the subject of, of the search algorithm. Then you, then you more or less create a case analysis. You can split cases. We, we saw actually how we split all the, all the stable models that remain between the bounds in two, but you may come up with others, other splits or even splits in several parts as long as you're exhaustive, as you don't forget any cases, you're good. But anyway, so the semantics lies with the propagation. The search is a general purpose skeleton approach which uses propagation then does case analysis. Okay, and last but not least, we had a sneak view at, uh, at uh, complexity problems and the most important is here, of course, the class of NP problems, non-deterministic polynomial time problems, which are very good. You do the work, go out, search for a solution candidate, give it to me and I can check it in polynomial time. So you really have to search and I just verify. Isn't that great? Oh well. Well, anyway, good. So let's end it like this with a little smile on hope not only my face, but also yours and say Auf Wiedersehen and tomorrow isn't staying out. I'll be back without a doubt.